everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we're looking at the Zaya Station insert from Meeple Realty. Dot com. Now, full disclosure, and you'll find this in the description below, Meeple Realty is my sponsor. So this is not really a review so much as an overview. I am going to tell you what I think about it, but I just don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. Clearly, you know, I, I just want everybody to fully understand what you're getting here. So what else can I say before we get started? Oh, be sure if when you're watching, somewhere tucked inside this video is going to be a giveaway where you can win this insert so keep watching throughout the video and you'll see that giveaway at some point so yeah let's get right down to the box and i'll show you how this insert works okay so here we go now here this is of course xylite is a drift system i also have the expansion embers of a forsaken star inside this box and real quick, let me show you, here's a photograph of what it looked like prior to me getting this insert from Meeple Realty. So you can see that it was a mess. I mean, I've got bags all over the place. I've got these little containers here and yeah, just a complete and total mess. So now let's take a look at what this looks like now. All right. so. Immediately you can see it's a lot more organized. You've got your rule books that fit right up here. Oh, you know what? You know what, real quick. Let me just show you that the box does not float, the box top, real quick. So here you go. You can see that maybe a little tiny bit because of where, where the rule books are right here, but it also, comes it also goes completely flush with the bottom of the box uh, you know if you had a box stacked on top of it or if it was tucked in next to other boxes on the shelf it's not really being forced up other than just a little bit because of the papers in those rule books all right so let's get back into it now and here we go all right so where to begin let's start over here so you've got this piece right here. You've got all the original resources, uh, obviously not the ember, and then you've got a spot for each of the player pieces here. And these, I'm gonna try to do this without letting everything fall out, these come out to make it easy to pull the resources right out like that. And the same is true on this side. I'm not gonna pull this one all the way out because I'm afraid that's gonna fall out, but you can see that that does lift up. So that comes out to make it easy to get the player pieces out as well. All right, and so then here, let's pull this one out. Here we've got a spot, we've got the ember in here, we've got, now you can see uh, one player piece here. I put these separate into this. Uh, I separated one player piece out because the reason I did that was when, when you have the score track, you're gonna have one of those on the score track. And so I decided, hey, you know what? Let's throw these in here. That way it's easy to, you know, put the, you have one already separated out for the score track. And then in this one, you've got all of the rest of them that you'll use on your ship mat and, you know, for tracking your energy, for all your outfits when you're activating them, all that kind of stuff. You also got over here from the expansion, you've got your armor plating as well as your cargo pods, you've got your relic tokens, and you've got these event tokens here as well. And the RK5 blaster, which I believe only came with the Kickstarter. Okay, where to next? Let's go, let's, let's look at these the ships. All right, so here we've got the tier one ships. And this to me is the coolest piece that I've seen in one of these inserts yet. This actually just lifts right up and you can see they're on their flight stands and they slide right out. And what that means though is that when it's closed, you can do whatever you want to and they stay right in place. You can see all of them right there. They stay right in place with no problem whatsoever. This is held together with these metal pieces right here, which I had not, this is the first insert I've gotten from Meeple Realty that, or insert any from anywhere that have metal pieces. So that's that's pretty neat, just opens right up. And because of these 
kind of cutouts with this cutout here it has a little bit of a snapping action when it shuts as well here we've got the tier two ships again exact same situation here they all fit in there nicely all on their flight stands here we've got the mpcs uh, which includes a spot for obviously the three the three base game npcs here you've got the kickstarter exclusive here you've got the kiln which is the space station from the expansion and you've got the three comets from the expansion as well and finally tier three ships again fitting here perfectly the this is made exactly to the right width and depth and height and all that stuff to make sure that they fit in here without any sort of issue all right now let's go we'll go to this first all right so this again just a container it's got room for the ice damage regular damage down here you've got your metal uh, 5,000 credit coins metal 1,000 credit coins down here you've got all the uh, what's it called uh, uh, criminal what is this called criminal outfits Outlaw, outlaw, out, or not outfits though, outlaw tokens, I guess, that you stick on your ships when the ship becomes an outlaw. Here you've got the exploration tokens and the dice. You can see I've got some extra dice in here because there was, you know, one dice for each style, one D6, one D8, D12, and D20. I put an extra one of each in there. All right, here we've got the outfits. So first open this up. And you see it slides back and then pops out and you can see kind of this little cut out here and I'll show you again how that works when I put it back on but you've got your M comps your missiles each with their own spot your piercers your tier one two and three um, blasters as well again everything has its own particular spot that slides back on just like that and then watch this you go like that and pop that right off and here we've got our enviro shield tier one two and three regular shields tier one two and three engines and your uh, gts and then put that back on and there we go all right here we've got a spot for all of the cards clearly labeled solo event etc etc uh, you know your tier th three two and one ships MPs, every everything's clearly labeled now the reason why it, you can separate the mission expansion and the title expansions but I have them just mixed in together because I'll always be playing with both also you can see with all this extra room in here you can sleeve the cards if you want as well hey everybody hope you're enjoying the video so far liking what you see as far as the insert goes now is your chance to win a copy of the zaya station insert so here's what we're going to do today this is going to be pretty similar to one of the previous ones i just did i want you to go over to meeprealty.com take a look at their inserts and find out what they don't have over there that you wish they did then in the description or i'm sorry not the description but in the comment section of this video leave a comment telling me which insert you wish Meeple Realty have, has, had? Oh my gosh, grammar. Anyway, tell me in the comments which one you wish they had, and that's all you gotta do to be entered into the contest. The contest deadline is at this date and time right here, which is probably gonna be about two Mondays from now. And that's it. Make sure you have your entry in by that time. And then one person will be picked to win the Zaya station insert from Meeple Realty. Back to the video. All right, now, everything I've shown you so far, none of it used glue. This is the one piece that I need to put some glue on. I'll be doing it after this video. This is the, the first piece I've ever had Meeple Realty where I felt like I needed to glue it. And what it is is this side piece right here and this side piece right here is a little bit loose and when when i try to put this back on you might see it come apart 
So, but I just wanted to sh not glue it yet because I wanted to show you that everything else, you, you can see how tightly it fit. And that's the normal for me. And this is the first one that I've had to glue. And, and granted, gluing is not something they claim you don't have to do. They actually recommend gluing. So not a huge problem because they say you actually should glue it. I've just never had to before. All right, so pull this apart. And on here, we've got a spot for Rikishi, the first player token, the victory token, the economy board. And, uh oh, I think we found one thing. This is one of the tokens for one of the player abilities, but the other one seems like it may have fallen out. Let's see if it's... Hmm. Well, and you can see these go in here. Now, oh, where did that go? I'm very curious now what happened with that. There we go. It slipped up underneath this one. So it is possible, depending on you know how rough you are with your games, because I do, I'm not like super rough, but I do occasionally tip them on their side, all that kind of stuff, that this might fall out and it's just slipped up under here under Rikishi. It's not like it can go too far because these boxes slip together. Now, as I said just now while I was looking for it, this piece did pop out of the other side of this, so I'll be gluing that a little bit later. But you can see how they slide together, and once they're they together, it was pretty sturdy. And you're not going to have, especially once I glue it together, you're not going to have any problems with this and the other side coming apart. And the final piece of all this is this right here, where you keep the Zaya, uh, the, the actual game board tiles. And you can see on each side, it has a little cutout so you can easily slip your finger in and pull that out. So there you go. That is everything. And this is these are all the tiles for the base game and expansion. And you can see that they are, it is exactly the right depth so that they can fit in there flush. That's, that's awesome. One more thing I wanted to show you before I go back up top are the, are the instructions. These to me are the best written instructions so far that I've gotten from Meeple Realty. I've constructed several other of their inserts, the Dead of Winter insert, the, what was it, the, the Blood Rage insert, which I actually believe they may not sell anymore, but, oh, and the Lords of Waterdeep insert. This one, it was by far the most complicated, or I should say, yeah, the most complex insert I've built, but the rules were also the clearest out of all of them. So they've really taken the time to explain exactly what you're doing with this. And I wanted to show in particular when you get to, oh, by the way, my, my two-year-old daughter got a hold of this the other day, so it's all kind of ripped apart. But let's see here. You can see, so on each board that you get, um, every board is, is very clearly labeled. You got you know, 18, 19, 20, and for the most part, the order of the numbers is the order that you're going to be using that piece, you know, so you know kind of when to pull it out and all that kind of stuff. For the most part, that's it's the order. There's a few exceptions as far as that goes. Ah, this is what I want to show you as well. Down here, when I completed this tray, it actually shows you exactly what goes in those spots, so you're not guessing because all these empty trays it would be pretty pretty easy to, to get confused about what goes in there so instead it actually labels for you what goes in there same back here with that tray or you know and then it shows you how obviously they stack together and with those two trays the only issue i had with these instructions and i can't remember which part it was now was there was one point where and I'll just you know give you a, a for example. Whoa, dropping stuff. It, you know, like let's say, I don't know, if it was something like this. Let's say if it was something like this, where maybe you know you've got uh, two 33s, two pieces that look very similar, but maybe they were slightly different. They were both numbered the same, and so there was some brief initial confusion with putting them together with their particular piece but then because of the context it was very clear and and because these shapes are accurately represented on here and it was just the number itself that was duplicated by accident 
it was very clear what to do. So on one point in the instructions that happened, and I wish I could remember where it was because I'm sure people realty would want to know so they can make the adjustments necessary. Uh, there, so at one point there was that issue, you know, you can, and, and actually that was the only problem I had. Uh, again, there, well, you know what, let's, let's finish talking about it up top. I'm going to head back up top real quick. Okay, so like I was saying, the instructions are all very clear. I, I, I like that very much. It made it very easy. Even though this one was a, a somewhat lengthy process to put it all together uh, compared to the previous ones I've done, I believe I spent, I don't know, somewhere around an hour, maybe slightly more building this one. In the end, because like I said, no glue was necessary except for in that one piece, so that saved a lot of time. It, and and if you're not comfortable using a a metal hammer to kind of, kind of tap the pieces into place, I would highly recommend getting a rubber mallet. Uh, Meeple Realty, I believe, sells one on their website, and of course, I'm sure just a regular rubber mallet would work. For me, I'm I'm comfortable enough with the with the metal hammer doing just slight little taps that I'm able to get it done. You know because that's the trade-off of not having the glue is that the wood pieces fit very tightly together. So I prefer not having to use glue and just tapping them into place. All of it, all of that works great. The, the organization is so much better now. You, you don't, ha I mean, I, if anybody's seen this game on the table and actually I do have a gameplay video of it up using prototype components for the expansion, it's everywhere it's all over the table and now it doesn't have to be it stays organized you know i mean everything has a its place everything fits great it fits the the box top fits flush with the you know just like it does without the the insert in there love this and this is by far my favorite insert i've seen from people realty so far that is without a doubt so I don't know what else I can say. I mean, pretty much seeing how it works is the best thing you could do, and I've already done that for you. So if you enjoy Xylite as a drift system, and especially if you have that expansion, and you see there is just stuff everywhere inside your just bags and, you know, Play-Doh boxes or whatever, grab this insert. It, in my mind, is worth the time and effort it saves setting up and turning down the game and keeping everything very well organized. That's the Zaya Station insert from MeepleRealty.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And until next time, if you pour it online, pour it off. Online.